Hello there, I'm Aldrael, and welcome back to Europa Universalis for Aztec Sunset Invasion. We're near the end, it's 1737, and we are taking France on. Look at this army getting crushed. Crushed, I say. Oh, yeah. We have lost quite a lot of men, to be fair. We need 86,000 men to fully replenish our army. To be honest, we start getting towards the end of this war because we are quite low on manpower and we're not really recovering very quickly. D could I have a policy that would allow me to have increased manpower recovery? I could, I could. Fun. All right, there we go. Wow, these guys need a nap. Whew. Okay, well now they're suffering less attrition, which is nice. And 10,000 men will, re will reach them at the end of each month. So that 61,000 becomes... What does, it, what does it become? What does it become? 65,000. So the main army gains 5,000 every month. That's pretty, that's pretty decent. Oh, Calais done. Excellent. They, may, they probably will give me Kaolencon and, and uh, Picardy in this peace treaty. It depends how much I want to crush them, you know. Do I want to annihilate them in every way, they, in every possible way? All right, yeah. Look, I've actually killed half. <laughs> They've only got ninety thousand, and their manpower is thirty-five thousand. They must be mass recruiting. Where's the army? Where? What the shit? Get them, boys! Okay, the Netherlands is now in a military they're on a coalition against me. But after this, we're probably going to go on a little bit of a peace. Simply because, you know, we don't want to get completely and totally wrecked. So we need a couple months for our manpower to replenish needs to come back. There we go. It's getting a bit better now. We're probably not even going to dip below 200,000 before the end of this war. All right, we can do this. I mean, I'm even going to turn the speed up. Now, we'll probably finish once we annihilate here, because I'd like to have their manpower completely drop. Uh, wow, well, my yearly regen is 39,000. So it takes 10,000. Yeah, of course, it takes 10 years. Every, every month, it takes 10 years to fully replenish their manpower. I would like to be able to crush this army, though. But the treaty, the peace treaty is going to be at least 10 years. All right. Let's do this. Oh, balls. Get out, get out. 8th September. You can do it. Get out, man. Alright, will you accept the treaty? They won't accept shit. <laughs> oh god. No, my conquistador! Christ! This is like most of them. <laughs> this is like. I don't actually know how much to fear because this is quite literally their entire army. Come on, do it, I believe. Yes! Again, they have like no morale because they only have 34 prestige. I also need to keep an eye on what my army tradition's doing. Oh, yes. Crush them. Oh boy. Hun I need a hundred thousand men to replenish my armies now. That is crazy. A hundred thousand. Uh. Alright, we're gonna follow them. That's what we're gonna do. And we'll give our uh, king will be in charge. 
We need to try and kill these guys. I need to just wipe out their army. I'm getting, we're probably all going to dip below 200,000 now. Oh, I don't want to fight in provinces, hills. Well, the morale will probably be really low. I believe. I believe. Okay, it's minus one each time, but they only have 2.38 morale. Awesome. Look how many men. Yes, got him. We're just going to keep chasing them. Oh, yeah. Russian boys. Oh, that's who they were. Whoops. Off you go. Oh, I should have been paying attention. I wasn't. Okay, we're just mopping up troops now. Sweden hasn't really gotten involved, which I'm very happy with. Oh, I found him. Oh, balls. Oh shit, they're gonna mop up all our troops. Yes. It's alright, it's okay, we can do this. You can accept the peace yet? No, but we're close. Let's go do a few more sieges. The issue is they are getting little bits, little small islands. Bloody province. Oh, don't go to them. There we go. Yes! Wipe them out. Is that all you killed? For goodness sake. We are now approaching the state of too low manpower. France has no manpower left. That's pretty nice. Ah, oh, you dick. Where the hell did they come from? Landing troops everywhere. Good boy. Oh, yes. Annihilating them. Okay, we just lost a sizable chunk again, but that's all right. Oh boy, lads. Can we take them yet? They will let us have it! Ah, oh, yes. Maybe we can try and get Orleans. That'd be nice. I'd like Orleans. Give me Orleans. Then it'll just be two more wars. Hey, we achieved religious unity. Rate a pop of proper fleet. Piss off, we already have so many bloody fleets. No. 
I don't know what axe is. Ooh, a new religion spreads. We have a present number of following strangers among some kind of balls. We have to prevent another religious turmoil. Football. <laughs> the English are playing football. At least keep our universities clean. Gain unrest, or my advisors haven't even heard of football. You can play football if you want. If you lads want to, you can play football. Oh my god, we need 95,000 men. Oi! Clear off! The hell? Charua? Clear off. Stop attacking my men. The best part about this is the fact that they will actually have to completely like rebuild their armies. So their manpower is never gonna be that that's high. So after this war, they're done. Honestly. Just don't I'm just not liking the amount of casualties we're sustaining. There it is. You can gain four. Uh who are their alliances? We need to get rid of their alliance with Sweden. We cannot have Sweden be involved in anything. Because they have decent ideas. Although they don't seem to have any men. Where are their men? Hey. Sweden. Good boy. Sweden. I'm not I'm not seeing it. Let's sort by country. Okay, never mind. It's not a problem. <laughs> never mind. I don't care who they're allied with. I can beat them regardless. I could force them to give something up. Nah, that's not really a lot of point, to be honest. Anything I could gain like this? Honestly, I could just take another territory. Force them to, you know, have to wait. And I would have to do one. But. I think we might be approaching the finishing time for this war. Could take that. How much? Are we, uh, okay, yeah, we gained so much aggressive expansion already for these four provinces. Then we will also take. That's it. We're done. We're done. Nice. France. Get bloody wrecked. Oh, we need a lot of men. Ooh, we do. Make everything a call. Improve defenses in mag, eh? Maguadino. Let's make another general, see what happens. Nothing. What a waste. Let's kick the ones we don't need. We did it. We really did it. We beat France. We're going to turn down our maintenance a little bit. Because, you know, we don't want to have to drain through our manpower. And I guess we'll wait a couple years, maybe? Now, we have another issue that there is this giant coalition. Tell you what I'll do. We will fabricate claim on London. And yeah, do that.
Get rid of all our leaders so they have less chance of dying horribly. And there we are. We have done it. Ooh, military thinkers. Reduce technological costs. We have beaten France and taken four provinces from them. Get the fuck out of here. Now, they have a hundred thousand men, but no manpower. Now, I'm at the Chile in a very bad state as well. And it's going to take me a year to fully, re about a year to fully replenish my armies. Uh, which will drain another 12,000. And then another year again. Another two years. So three years of peace seems reasonable to me. When is the truce, truce up? Truce? When's the truce up? 47, we have truce. So what we'll do is we will actually next break the coalition and uh, be England again and take London. We will have a very, very large, uh, like a really, really large coalition against us. I don't think it's anything we can't handle. We should be fine. I did not expect this to go so well. I mean, it, it, it could have gone really badly. It absolutely can't, could have gone utterly terribly. But we didn't. We made. We pulled through. Ooh, we're freezing there. And we made it. Ugh, we've got a 60k stack over here. So what we're going to need to do is, after two and a half to three years, we replenished. Uh, we will take on the rest of this bloody world. And the coalition will consist of... Da, 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 da. Oh, man. Wales, Great Britain, Brittany, Austria... Austria. That's a problem. Yeah, that's a... It's a slight problem. Actually, Austria has barely anything. I, th I expected Austria to be so much stronger. I'm going to take these guys right now with the men I have. I'd rather wait until I'm over 200k. So they would call in Tuscany and Russia. They would call in Russia. Oh. That's not so good. But it's not that big a deal. What is Russia going to do? They're all the way over there. They ain't got shit. Yeah, it's fine. Ooh. What if I have Panama? Just doing those little missions. I mean, they're pretty good missions, to be honest. It's very nice to have these things. Oh, goodness. So we've done it. We've taken France. The next war, so as I said, the next war will be against Great Britain. And we'll take London from them. And we will also give back these provinces to Scotland and maybe return another. But they will have to fight against a very large coalition. So we'll wait until we have at least 200k. And then once we've done that, it'll be France again. And we'll take Champagne, Romandoy, and Nemours from them. Won't be too hard. Oh, I've got to keep on top of this. Of course. Alright. So. We've done really well. We're so close. Two more wars and we'll have this achievement. So, I was Aldrahil and I will continue to be. Why does this keep dropping? And this has been Europa Universalis 4 Aztec Sunset Invasion. Next episode, we will take on the Coalition. And the episode after that, take on France. And the next two after that, France again. Within five, we'll have this done. Yes, we will. So, till next time. Bye-bye.